Hey, welcome back. If you remember a couple years ago, Microsoft released an attack simulator capability in Office 365, and that allowed you to simulate phishing attacks and do things like password spray. Well, in 2020 at the RSA Security Conference, Microsoft announced a partnership with Terra Nova to be able to add training content to that attack simulator tool. And that's now live. It's in public preview. And I wanna show you here in a few videos around this capability. So we're gonna start with credential harvest in this video, and then we'll work into some other videos later on. So I'm gonna log into security.microsoft.com and on the left side, click on attack simulator. And then I'm gonna click on launch a simulation. And we're gonna start with credential harvest. Now this is your classic email phishing method where a malicious actor embeds a URL in an email message. And when their target clicks on the URL of that message, they are taken to a malicious website where they have to enter their username and password into an input box. And then from there, that website's usually well-themed and it's uh, disguised in a way that looks like it's legit. So we're gonna start with that. Now down here at the bottom, it explains the steps of it and it even tells you about the MITRE technique. And if you know me and my videos, I love MITRE and I think that's pretty cool that that's now included. So let's go ahead and start with that. Now I'm gonna give it a name and click next. And then we can choose between some pre-created payloads. Now this is new because if you remember from the old attack simulator tool, there was only like two or three you could choose from. Now there's a lot. And you can even create your own as well, but we'll save that for another video. So I'm gonna scroll down. Let's do something fun like Netflix account suspension. And when I click on it, it's gonna show me a preview of what that's gonna look like. And it's gonna show me some other information here. And I can even see the predicted compromise rate and even the click rate. So we're gonna choose that one and click next. And then target users, I'm gonna include everybody in my organization. And then we're gonna assign training. Now Microsoft is gonna assign the training experience or I could choose no training. And I'm gonna let it assign it automatically versus selecting training courses and modules myself. I'll do another video on that one. And then we're gonna have a due date, it's due 30 days after the simulation ends. And then for the training landing page, uh, here's what the header of the page is gonna look like and the body of the message in the page. And if I wanna preview this, here's what it's gonna look like with the training content, it's gonna be in a link here down at the bottom. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click next and we're gonna launch this ASAP. Now there's a neat little feature here to enable time zone uh, aware delivery. So that's just so if I start this, it's not gonna be delivered to somebody's mailbox when they might be asleep, right, in a different time zone. So that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and submit this and launch this simulation. And then we're gonna log into an end user's mailbox and actually take a look at the email that got sent. So we'll come back in just a moment for that. Okay, welcome back. So here's what the email looks like, and I'm just an end user, so I'm gonna click on I trust content and it's a Netflix account expiration. And it looks pretty legit, right? It even has the unsubscribe button. But hey, I'm just an end user. So we're gonna click on the link and we're gonna be taken to the landing page. Now, I want you to look at the landing page, the web address. That web address is definitely not an Office 365 login portal. Shouldn't that be login.microsoftonline.com? And then if I go ahead and type my email address, because again, I'm just an end user, Notice when I type my email address, it's supposed to redirect me to my company's background photo and my company logo. That's not happening. And again, that web address is wrong. But hey, I'm just an end user. And check it out, I got fished. So here's that landing page that we were to customize. Here's the email that got sent. And it's let me know that, look, there's unprofessional looking designer formatting. Here's some things you should probably look for. You know, the email address is definitely off. The language in here is off. Poor, poor English, if you will. And then down here at the bottom, it says, we've assigned trainings to learn how to avoid this in the future. And I'm gonna click on go to training. And it's gonna take me out to the training portal. And this is where I can watch a cute little video here that goes through some training with me on how to uh, avoid phishing websites. So there's my training that I have to go through. And this is part of the, the Terra Nova integration. So pretty cool. And when I'm done with the training, I have to take a little quiz. I know a lot of you will be disappointed in me. I only got a 60%, but uh, this is uh, what happens. So I can then uh, close this. And now that it's uh, completed. 
And there it just changed to completed. Now let's switch back to the admin portal here and we can go and view that, uh, that simulation. So I'm just gonna go to simulations up here and you can see I've already launched a few others. So we're just gonna choose that latest one. And here I can see a report of all the people that um, have taken the training or first got simulated here. I could see who's clicked on it and then I can see anybody that might have uh, taken the training. So one out of 27 users were compromised. Click on view users. Uh, Patty will show up, Patty's our end user. So as we scroll through this, There's Patty, and I can see some details here that Patty did click on the email link, and uh, she did supply her credentials along with some other telemetry here, so that's important. And when I click on the training tab, check it out. I can see she's successfully completed the training. She even got a score of 60. <laughs> uh, so let's go back to the attack, and if I go down here, and this is where I can see uh, some more details about some improvement actions, kind of like secure score here. And again, I've got some other reporting. So this is the attack simulator tool, and this is going through credential harvest demo. Now I will talk more about automations and I'll get more into payloads later on in another video, but um, I just want to step you through this in a nice little training series. So stay tuned for the next video where we talk about malware attachment. All right, folks, take care. We'll see you.